Falling commodity prices and declining exchange rates, meanwhile, are painting a mixed picture for African economies. Larger emerging econ economies like South Africa need more investment, particularly in the energy sector. These are among the findings of the mid-year review of the World Economic Situation and Prospects Report, produced by the Development Policy and Analysis Division of the United Nations. The world economy continues to grow, but modestly while larger emerging markets continue to face weaknesses domestically with external vulnerabilities. South Africa is a primary example and need more investment. A major problem in South Africa is the energy shortfall, which is hitting the manufacturing sector, um, the ener energy rationing that is going on. And the solution to that is more investment in the energy sector. And with that, of course, you would set off a cascading effect that would help to address a lot of the other problems, uh, particularly the, the high unemployment rate. The report's authors say South Africa's growth continues to be lacklustre, hampered in part by energy infrastructure constraints. Now the question then is how to bring about high, more investment uh, and following on that track uh, it would bring one to the issue of uh, the, the institutional framework, the, 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 the political stability, the quality of uh, the investment environment essentially. So. In a sense, uh, that's an area that needs to be addressed in order to create the incentives and the stability that investors are looking for before they commit their funds to particularly an area like the, the energy sector. The global economy include monetary policy adjustments, particularly rising interest rates in the United States, the continued fragile recovery in the Eurozone and the Greek debt crisis, structural factors, infrastructure deficits and weak currencies in emerging economies, and geopolitical tensions, otherwise known as conflicts or wars. In short, the current economic situation is to a large extent characterized by low GDP growth, low trade flows, low investment, low interest rates, and low inflation, along with, in many countries, high stock markets and high debt levels. So the combination of these indicators does not augur well for the world economy in the medium term if policymakers cannot break this pattern effectively. East Asia will remain the key driver for global growth at around 6% for the next two years. South Asia also remains favorable, with India expected to grow at 7%. Sherwin Bricepies, SABC News, New York.